So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a new filter I brought for my Aquascape, the Awaze Filter Smart Thermo 100. This is a small external filter which is perfect for aquascapers. I'm going to give you as much information as possible about this filter as I think it's a real game changer for the fish keeping hobby. And just before I show you the unboxing of this filter, if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out a lot. So let's get into the unboxing of this filter. So inside the box you'll get some ceramic filter media. You'll also get some parts for the spray bar and the inlet pipe. Also included is about 2 meters of tubing. Here is part of the spray bar. And here is the main thing in the box, the filter. You also get a few rubber stoppers to put at the base of your filter. These are just helping to dampen the noise from the vibration when it's on the floor or your aquarium stand. You also get a manual, which is of course very important for when you're setting up the filter. This filter has an easy click opening mechanism which makes it easy to get it to when you need to do maintenance on the filter. All you got to do is carefully unclip the two pins on the side of the filter unit and then carefully pull up the top part of the filter unit. As you can see the filter is split into three different sections. Two of the sections can be used for your sponge media and the other section is where the heat is going to sit when it's all placed together. You can also put the ceramic filter media in this section too. Here is a closer look at the filter sponges that are provided with the filter. These sponges have a large surface area which is really good if you want to encourage friendly filter bacteria growth. And they will also help to remove any debris or detritus from your water. Now let's have a look at how the heater works in this filter. And this is one of the major selling points of the Awaze filter. The heater is built into the external filter itself. This means now you no longer have to put a heater in your aquarium. This is really useful in a planted tank because you want to have as less equipment in the tank as possible. The more pieces of equipment in a tank can be a bit distracting when you're trying to look at a planted tank. So if you do decide to use this Awaze filter, it means there's one less bit of equipment in your planted tank. Closing the filter is just as easy as opening it up. Just make sure everything's lined up really well. Just be a little bit careful with the heater as it's made from glass and you don't want to break it. And then flip the clips into place. And then finally press the clips until you hear a snap. Sometimes people have a real issue with their filters being really noisy. This could be because the filter is vibrating on the surface it's on. So to solve this issue, filter companies like Awaze have provided these rubber stoppers. You place these into the grooves at the bottom of the filter. And then this will help to dampen the sound when the filter is running. Attaching the holes to the filter is pretty easy as well. Just simply screw the plastic nut onto the filter inlet or outlet and then just push the tubing onto the inlet or outlet. And finally all you got to do is screw the nut so it secures the tubing in place. Now that I've showed you the unboxing and setup of the filter, I think it's time I give you some tech specs about this filter. This filter has a flow rate of 600 litres per hour. This flow rate makes this filter really good for small nano tanks ranging from 30 litres and it can even do larger nano tanks ranging up to 60 litres. In a planted tank you should aim to turn your water over at least 10 times per hour. So my tank has a volume of 45 litres, so I'd need a filter that I could do 450 litres per hour. And this Awaze filter is perfect for my aquarium, as I'm getting an extra 150 litres of turnover per hour. The more flow you can get in your planted tank, the better, as the nutrients can circulate around your tank so the plants can get as many nutrients as they can. This is one of the key points if you want to have a successful planted tank. Also having a high turnover rate in a planted tank is really useful for controlling algae as well. It prevents any dead flow zones occurring in your tank. These dead zones are where algae can thrive if left unchecked. So by having a high turnover filter, it can help stop this problem and you'll have a nice algae free tank. Like I mentioned before, this filter has a built in heater. It's also a removable 100 watt heater as well. So if it ever does break, you can just buy a new Oase one and refit it into your filter. You can really see the benefits of having a built in heater in your filter. Like in my jungle aquascape, I had the heater in the back right hand corner of the aquarium. And now that I switched to the Oase filter, I no longer need an internal heater. And this has left a bit more space in the back of the aquarium where I could plant some more plants. Or potentially, this means there's more space to put hardscape in the back of the aquarium. So now in my aquascape, the only bits of equipment I have are the glass lead pipes. And when I do get a chance to clean them, they won't be very distracting in the aquascape itself. So I hope you found this review of the Oase Filter Smart Thermal 100 useful. If you have any questions about this filter, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. And if you decided you want to buy one of these filters for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. 